29. The following concentrations are found in mixtures of ions in equilibrium with slightly soluble solids. From the concentrations given, calculate the KSP for each of the slightly soluble solids indicated. Okay, and then we have TLCL. I feel like we've done this compound already, somewhere in this chapter. Um, so we have to find the KSP for TLCL. They do give us the concentrations of each ion. They say that the TL plus is 1.21 times 10 to the negative second molarity, and the CL minus is 1.2 times 10 to the negative second molarity. From that, we have to find the KSP. Remember, KSP always comes from a balanced equation, and a balanced equation for the KSP, we're always taking that solid, they did say it was a solid, and breaking it down into its ions. But the ions are right here. So I'm just going to, you know, copy basically, right? So TL, CL, that's the solid. This comes to equilibrium because we're dealing with the K value with the two ions. They told us that it was TL plus and CL minus. They have charges, so they're aqueous. And I'm looking to see if I need to balance. And it's already balanced, so we're good. Next is, I'm just going to write out the numbers that they gave us. So they told us that the TL plus concentration is 1.21 times 10 to the negative second molarity, and the CL minus is 1.2 times 10 to the negative second molarity. Cool. Now let's use that balanced equation to get the KSP equation, right? The, the specific one for our case. KSP always equals just the products raised to the coefficients. So the KSP would be equal to the concentration of TL plus times the concentration of CL minus. Now they're both raised to the first power because there's only one of each. So you can raise both of them to the first, but that would be the same as just not writing it in there. And now we know the values, right? We want to solve for that KSP. So we know the TL is 1.21 times 10 to the negative second. And the CL minus is 1.2 times 10 to the negative second. So let's solve it out. KSP equals. Uh, we got 1.21 times 10 to the negative second. And then 1.2 times 10 to the negative second. Plug this into the calculator and we get our answer. 1.21 times 10 to the negative second times 1.2 times 10 to the negative second. And I get 1.5 if we round it to two sig figs. I do have 1.452, but you know, if we're playing the sig fig games, the lowest number is two sig figs. So 1.5 times 10 to the negative fourth. And you are done. That's the KSP. Whoop, whoop. Okay. What do you think? I really hope this helped. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. Like the video. Tell your friends or your classmates. Really love to help them out as well. Um, yeah, thank you so much. And I will be talking to you soon. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.